All right, so we're doing a hot towel, hot lather shave. I'm gonna just show you a couple steps real quick. First thing I wanna say is when you cape them, keep it loose, because you wanna throw a towel in here just so it doesn't wet down your cape and mess it all up. So keep it loose. So typically I'll use about three towels. When you throw these on, you wanna make sure they're not too hot coming straight out of the warmer. Does that feel okay? Yeah. yeah. Always ask your client and then you wanna get it wrapped pretty tight here. Then as that's going, we're going to set up our razor and get our shave paper. So we don't, we don't wipe the hair and the lather on towels. We do disposable paper. It's just a pain in the butt to wash the towels and clean and all of that good stuff. Then I like using gloves for shaves for sure. It just helps with the lather and everything. And, and always keep a extra towel so we're using the 245 razor with Porco Dorco Prime blades. So this first towel here, as soon as I take it off, we're gonna keep this and we're gonna hang it. And I will show you what we do with that later. So we're gonna lather his head after that first towel. Now this whole process is supposed to soften the hair. So make sure you get it in there good. This is where that extra towel comes in handy. Grab another towel. Same thing, cool it down before you just throw it on his head. <laughs> Does that feel okay? wrap it good and tight. Let it sit until it kind of gets cool. You don't want it to get totally cool because then it's uncomfortable for the client. And at this point, his hair should be pretty soft. Grab some more lather. And you don't need a ton of lather. You'd be surprised. A little goes a long way. Apply it again. Now halfway through the sh shave, we might have to apply more lather on the parts we haven't done yet, just to keep it soft and moist. So I always try to go not against the grain or with the grain, because we're just gonna do a one pass shave. I'm gonna go to the side of the grain. So his hair here is growing up. We're gonna cut to the side. Now always make sure you stretch the skin pretty good. It should, see how just smooth right through. A lot of it is the preparation. A lot of barbers nowadays, they just use the gel and just start shaving. But this hot lather, hot towel, you can't beat it. Makes it easier for you and the client. It's actually enjoyable. And when you're shaving, you shouldn't need pressure. Ever. The blade should just glide. And if you start finding yourself needing pressure, then you need to change the blade out. Now because his hair is not super thick up here, we're actually gonna just go against the grain. Um, and I know it won't irritate him because I've cut him, done this, what, 10 times or so, Art? We've shaved, shaved your head, so. So um, you'll get to know your client and how his hair grows and the patterns and what irritates him, what doesn't irritate him. But again, it should just be smooth. And 
This service shouldn't take you no longer than 30 minutes to do. So like here, I'm not applying any pressure, it's just going straight up. Make sure when you when you shave, you know, you make sure a lot of people ding their head and you gotta make sure there's no scabs or anything. Moles is huge. So if it's your first time shaving a client, check for moles and things like that. Now I'm starting to feel like the blade is kind of dulling out on me. So I'm gonna switch the blade. Typically I'll use two blades on a head shave. Oh yeah, that is much better. I'm gonna go ahead and speed this part up. kind of miss any areas. So the real light hair, they're pretty tough to cut. And then we'll grab another hot towel. Again, cool it off before you throw it on, especially now because there's no hair to protect them. Does that feel okay? It feels great. And that first hot towel that we saved, you wanna kind of spin it and get it cool. And all of this is just to help any irritation that occurs. So just spin it until it's pretty cold. And then before we apply this, we're going to apply an aftershave while the pores are still open. Another thing this cold towel will do is it will close all the pores up. So the aftershave I use is the Immortal aftershave. It's the gray can, so. So we just need a little bit of aftershave and then just to apply it. Grab that cold towel, spin it a little more to get it nice and cool. Now this is the best part of a shave. And then wrap this nice and tight.
And after the cold towel, you can use an oil. Um, I typically just use, we have a beard oil. It's a Florida made beard oil. It's from Florida Beard Company. It's called The Gentleman. It's actually a balm. So I'll use a little bit of this. It's all natural. So it's really good for the skin. There should be zero irritation. So we're gonna use just a little bit of this. Because it's a balm, you gotta heat it up before you apply it. Get it nice and oily. Now as I'm applying, I can see a couple spots that I missed, which that's okay, we'll go and hit that, the oil will make it easier. See with the oil, it just glides. So that helps. You also feel with your fingers. You can feel any any high spots. I think that should be good. And that's basically how we at Locals Barbershop do a head shave. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next video.